Welcome back. As we continue the process of explaining the use of accruals and prepayment adjusting in the final accounts. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy once again to continue the process of sharing with you as we look at revenues at this time. In our last lesson, we had looked at expenses. How do we treat with um, accruals and prepayments in relation to expenses? And now we want to look at accruals and prepayment in relation to revenues. Very important that we look at this as we had already indicated we would. So, our objectives to guide would be ex to explain the concepts and we also want to record accruals and prepayment using double entry principles. Okay, come on on. Come on, let's, let's, let's get, get it done. All right. Um, in relation to revenues, yes, um, when we when we enter into business we enter into business for the reason to earn and that which we earn are, is classified as our revenue so there are times when there will be accruals that ex exist and there may be um, an accruals we say is really items that are owing it's a situation where there's you're being owed, all right? And prepayment is where someone is paying you in advance, paying you ahead, right? So though the thing is needed um, the following week, yes, they are paying you now for it. And that is the prepayment or our advance. The word pre means before. So you're paying before it is really required. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, know that we understand accruals and prepayment in relation to revenues. Now, revenue is a concept that is treated in accounting, yes, as a liability. All right. Treated like liability. Expenses are treated like um, assets while while revenues are treated like liability in your double entry system however let's go to look at an example now let us say we have we have um, a rent received account and um, we're treating now, we're going to deal with, because rent received is a revenue, and we're going to start with looking at accruals. Now, in this account, if we have rent received owing at the beginning of the financial year, we have rent received owing at the beginning of the financial year, it becomes an asset, so we're going to have accrued BD on the debit side now let me explain a little bit more where why why accrued revenue yes accrued revenue is an asset a current asset it is it is in the same category where we as if we have sold goods on credit to our customers when we sold goods on credit to our customers they are to pay us so they are owing us yes and the fact that they are owing us they are our debtors yes they are our debtors so we sold them goods and we are to receive receive some revenue or some monies from them yes and and because it is owing yes we have not received it it is it is really our asset it is it is money out there that belong to us Okay, so it's, so it's our asset, just as we would have had trade debtors or accounts receivable. So rent received, accrued 
rent receive is a current asset and that is why this is on the accrued BD is on the debit side because it is an asset and and as I said when you think of it think about think about think about uh, uh, credit credit sales when once you have credit sales you have incurred incurred a debt debtors yes they are owing you okay we are supposed to receive the money from the debtors the same thing here we have we rented our property to somebody and they are supposed to pay us and they are owing portions of the money that they should pay us so it is an asset all right now let us go a little bit further so now if the opening accrued is which is a current asset yes then the closing is going to be on the credit side so it's going to be accrued cd on the credit side okay because once as i said some time ago the the debit is on one side sorry the cd is on one side the bd is going to be on the opposite side so accrued opening accrued is on the debit side the closing accrued on the credit side all right no when we receive the money from our tenant yes we are going to be recording it on the credit side when we receive the money from our tenant we're going to record it on the credit side all right um remember this is a revenue now previous in our previous lesson when we're when we're dealing with rent when we rent the building from somebody yes and we are paying them for rent the rent account is debited but in this instance yes um we are receiving money for rent so it is credited rent received is credited so let us say it's so when we add and i always like to use real figures so you can relate so assume that this is $30 and assume that they have paid us um, $150 yes and the accrued is $20 okay so the total is going to be $170 yes the difference between 30 30 here taken from $170 I'm going to get what now 140 and this is the amount that will go to the income income statement right cd comes the bd accrued all right so what are we seeing here then that the the opening accrued and i did say this is an asset and in particular it's a current current asset right current asset good so that's an example of the of the revenue the accrued treating the accrued revenue let's go quickly to the other one let's deal with prepayment now so let's say we have a situation we have commission commission received commission receive account this is where we're doing our work doing work for people and they are paying us a commission so it's a revenue to us all right now the opening prepayment yes is going to be on the credit side Prepaid BD on the credit side. All right. Call that $200. Okay. And the closing, if the opening is on the credit side, the closing is going to be on the debit side.
Now, question is, why? Why is it that the prepayment, the opening prepayment, is on the credit side? And the fact that it's on the credit side, which means it is a liability. So revenue prepaid. Yes? Let me put it so that it is clear. We say um, accrued revenue. Yes? Accrued revenue. Revenue is an asset. And um, prepaid Prepaid revenue. It's a V. Yes, is a liability. Very important to, to have this concept clear. Okay? So we have prepayment on the credit side. Alright? Um, it, 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 the fact here is that they have paid us for something that we have not done yet. We have received money for something that we have not done yet. So we are, we are, we are owing them service. Yes? So they have paid us for it already, but we have not yet performed the service. So that's why it's a liability. Okay? They, so it's a, the commission received is a revenue. So it's a revenue. And the, the situation here, again, I'm going, is that, it is considered the prepaid, opening prepaid is referred to, or the prepaid is referred to as a liability. And it's a liability because they have paid us, yes, before we have provided the service. So we, get, we have gotten the money already, yes, but we have not yet performed the service. And that is why it is a liability. The prepayment is a liability. All right, so we say accrued revenue is an asset, and in particular, current asset, and prepaid revenue is a liability, in particular, current liability. All right, let me complete the arrangement here. So we will still, we will still have bank, yes, since the revenue, and let's call that $1,000, yes? Now, to close it, the difference is going to be sent to our income statement. All right? So, let's do that. This is going to be 1,200. This 1,200. Take 100 from 1,200. We're going to take 1,100. All right? We can double line here and here. And then the prepaid would come over here I always like to complete so I'm going to erase this to complete prepaid is going to be here which is prepaid prepaid BD of 100 all right that would have sealed the concept in relation to revenue accrued and revenue prepaid now I'm going to look at these two examples to further the, the, um, the concept and explanation. So let me erase. All right, let's get on with it now. So, this question says that, uh, Received payment for rent during 2019 of 2,500. Owings for rent in 2018, yes, was 400. And owings for rent at December 2019 is $300. So let's put that into perspective here. So it's our rent, oops, our rent received. Or rent receive account. They have indicated that in 2019 we have paid over some money. 
if we wish to put in some dates, um, 2019, yes, we bank, and the amount is 2,500. All right? Now, at the beginning of, of 2019, there was an accrued coming from 2018. So accrued BD of 400. Okay? And we also have at the end of the financial period, which is 2019, there is an accrued as well. So accrued. Accrued CD. And that is 300. So the difference is going to go to our income statement. So how much would it be that we are going to be recording in the income statement as revenue or end receipt? We add this and that gives us 2,800. All right. Now, when we take 400 from 2,800, 2, we are going to get 2,400. So, 2,800 and we close. Then, this CD yeah, becomes BD here. Alright, so that would be the... They work out in double entry for rent received, accrued revenue. All right. And remember we say this rent received, sorry, revenue accrued is a asset, a current asset. Revenue, yes, revenue accrued or accruals of revenue is a current asset. All right. Next question. Here they say that seminar fees received from 2010 2010 is ten thousand dollars fees received in advance for 2010 was 300 and fees and advance for 2011 is 500 now let's let's open that account or seminar fees so let us say we we host seminars, eh? we put on seminars and we have people paying us fees to, to enter the seminar, all right? So it's an income to us, all right? Now, the amount that comes to us is by check. The amount that comes to us by check is ten thousand dollars okay now they are indicating that there was some fee in we got we, had, we got some money yes that was in advance of the total amount of money we receive we have in hand at 2010 a portion of that was really a prepayment yes a prepayment somebody had paid or some persons would have paid prior to 2010 yes so when we come into 2010 we have monies monies that was paid over as prepayment and that was three hundred dollars so it is prepaid bd and that is what no three hundred all right and at the end of the financial period of 2010, yes, we recognize that some monies were paid for the period to come, which is 2011. So the closing prepaid. Which is, what am I mix up something? Oh, $500, okay. Good. So now the difference is we'll, we'll be going to the income statement 
as seminar fees. So we we'll add that this figure that we put in here will be added to our gross profit as additional income. All right, let's close. So this would be ten thousand three hundred. All right, ten thousand three hundred. Um, so the difference is going to be nine thousand. Yes, nine thousand eight hundred. Right, nine thousand eight hundred. So. Our prepayment CD will come over to become prepaid BD of 500. All right, and there you have it. Um, we have sought to address um, accruals and prepayments affecting revenues. And we have looked at the accruals and we have looked at the prepayment in this instance. Thank you very much for sharing with us. I hope that it has been very helpful to you and the concepts have been clarified and you are better able to manage um, these concepts. We are pleased and it is our pleasure to serve you to make sure that you understand accounting and you become kings and queens in the performance of your task as accountants. Thank you very much for sharing with us and please if you like this video please click below the like button and if it's the first time you're seeing us please click the subscribe button so that all new um, lessons that will come from here on you will be able to be notified and you can follow thank you very much we're about now to move over to the next lesson in relation to um, income statement and um, balance sheet how do we do that um, you uh, do the adjustments for accruals and prepayment in the income statement and the balance sheet. Thank you very much.